Um, we have another quick question here coming in, uh, Chris, sorry. Um, and it's about the service console. Uh, recently, um, Sugar has rebranded uh, their products into different um, solutions, one for sell, one for marketing, and one for serve. Um, the, um, could you explain a little bit about the benefits of this service console or why an organization maybe would want to look at something like that? Yeah, so uh, within our demo instance here, I'm just going to choose a different user. I'm going to use a customer service agent here who has access to that, that view. So one of the things that you usually run into in you know, organizations that are using Sugar that use it for case management is it's kind of hard to figure out what are the most important things as a service rep that I actually need to be looking at and working on. And how do I do that in a very effective manner without kind of having multiple tabs open? You know, I've got the cases list view with maybe my filters already set up and then I'm, you know, opening new tabs for each of the tickets and then doing the work that I need to do, updating those and then, you know, moving on. So you can have a lot of different tabs on your screen just depending on how many tickets you're working on at a given time. So what the service console really is supposed to help, um, you know, those service reps do is to kind of give them one place uh to do all of the things that they need to do have the information of the tickets that they need to be working on like from top to bottom from most important to least important and this can get into your whole sla configurations that you have as well so that you're not having any kind of dig in mind for what is the things that you actually need to be focused on as a service rep so i'm logged in here right now as melissa she's got access to the service console and the service console really is just an additional view that's on your home page as a service user. So you can see we've got uh, essentially a tab here for the cases and it's showing us that we have 10 overdue cases at the moment. So when I view that service console, I'm seeing those 10 cases and what the dates are. And they're, they're listed from uh, typically your most important to least important. So let's take a look at one of these. I'm just gonna click on any of the areas here in the row. And as I do that, you'll see that slide in here. And what this is gonna now show you is into a little four quadrant view. You've got information about the case and activities around the case, the contacts on the case, and any kind of documents as well in the case up here in this quadrant. You've got comment logs. You can quickly add in any comments around the ticket here and see the history on that. You've got the account that the ticket is actually related to. So you can see you have information about the account and you can even edit the account from here as well. And then from a chronological perspective, you've got all the activity history with the, the case interactions. So any meetings that have been held or planned, any notes, any emails, phone calls, tasks, all those activity types of things you'll see here in the cases interaction uh, down below. And then you can also add any of those types of activities from here as well. So as a rep, I can go in here and say, well, you know, this priority is low. You can see it's from the portal. Uh, it's pinning some input. Maybe I want to change that. And I say, well, this is actually a sign now. They responded back. You can hit save. See more information around the case, quickly update it. Maybe I want to look at any of these tasks that have been done. Take a look at those, quickly jump to that task there and see any information I need to on that. Add in any comments here that I need to. And again, just like the uh, activity stream, you can do any kind of the same stuff you do there as you're using the comment log field. So any kind of tagging of users or anything like that you can do. And then again, having information about the account, you can quickly edit any of the information here that I have for the account view. And again, I wanna say, well, let's go ahead and compose an email. That's gonna bring in that information from the ticket that we had. And this one is set up for my local mail. But if we were using the internal sugar email client, it would just pop that composed view open, have the information already set up for uh, the ticket and the people that are related to it that you're going to be emailing, and then you're good to go. So it really simplifies where every the view kind of helps that agent be able to get access to the information they need at that time. Uh, and uh, and um, prioritizes things for them. Yep, so as I'm working on these tickets, I just move down to the next one and down to the next one. So I'm not necessarily having to have a bunch of tabs open, uh, jump around from screen to screen. 
It's very streamlined now with the service console. It really helps make the service reps as effective as they possibly can when they're working on these tickets. You can also, um, from a perspective of uh, service reps and things, uh, integrate phone systems in with your CRM as well, correct? So that anytime a call takes place, it, you're able to log that information seamlessly and uh, set up automations like around that sort of stuff as well, correct? That's correct. So some of our uh, customers have phone integrations. Um, you know, each one is a little bit different, you know, from product to product, but most of them from a foundation standpoint are going to be very similar. You're going to have a call pop up on the screen. If a call is coming in, it's going to try and figure out, is there a contact or a lead or an account that this is matching on the phone number? If it does, it's going to bring that information up or even take you directly to their record in the system and then capture that call as soon as you hang up the phone, close the call. That's going to be a call record now within Sugar. So now any, anything that you want to do from like a process definition workflow automation standpoint, you have complete access to do because you have now captured a record in the system that Sugar can trigger those workflows off of. 